Hello, my name is Tracy Held. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in Melbourne in Australia. And as I promised on my blog yesterday, I'm going to show you how to make this card. Now, while it might look complicated, it actually isn't that bad. And if you do make it and anybody is terribly impressed about how clever you are, don't admit to them how simple it is. Now, you can do anything you like in terms of colours. Because I was doing a masculine card, I went with the blues and greens cooler colours. You could do reds and yellows, pinks and purples. You could do rainbow colours where you've got half of it is your red, green, warm colour. Again, red, yellow, orange, warm colours. And then you've got the blues and greens cooler colours on the opposite sides. So whatever colours you like, you can use. What you're going to need for this is your layering circles. So when you're using the circles, you want the ones that are the alternate sizes so that you've got gaps in between them. And you need five colours. And you'll notice I've only got four circles here. For my little one, I'm using the now retired three quarter inch circle punch. So that's going to fit in the middle there being my smallest size. And you're going to cut out all your circles in your two different colors. And just to save repetition, I'm going to show you how to stick the one together, but I've already done the other one. So the colors that I used is Night of Navy. This is the new in color Misty Moonlight. Seaside Spray, Smoky Slate, and for my little yellow one, I've used So Saffron. In the greens, I've used Shaded Spruce, Coastal Cabana, Mint Macaron, Soft Sea Foam, and again, the So Saffron. So you can have different colours for your littlest one if you want to. I kind of liked it that you've got the two colours carrying through. So once you've cut them out, we're going to stick them together. So I'll start with the little one, but you can go whichever way you like. So we're sticking that roughly in the middle over there. And then we're going to keep going. Don't know why I keep closing the glue. I think I have a habit of that so that it doesn't dry out. But when we're continuously sticking, it's probably easier to leave the lid off. So stick both of your colours together. And then we're going to cut them in half down the middle. Now, this is really thick. And just remember when you're getting to the edge here, you're cutting through five layers of cardstock. So what I'm going to do is um, line it up that it's line it up that it's straight because I want to be cutting through the middle of the yellow. And I'm going to go through but I'm not worried that this isn't cutting all the way through. I'm going to do the same with the green. And then I've got a line where I can cut. So that line's giving me an indication. And I'm going to cut all the way through with my scissors. So it's quite thick at the bottom there. But as you get through, your cutting does get easier and don't worry if it's slightly jagged nobody's going to see that when you put it together this one I've even cut a little bit crooked but again it's not going to be a problem okay so then you've got your card base I'm going to start with my misty moonlight and for the top layer can you see that? I don't know if you can see it. I've gone and embossed it with the 
Settles 3D embossing folder. I really like that Settles folder because it just gives that little bit of texture where you don't want plain card, but you don't want it to be completely overwhelmed either. Now, for this one, I actually stamped that sentiment. So I was using the new Forever Fern, and I used that You Can Do It, but I put washi tape over the U before I inked it up, then pulled the washi tape off that I just had the Can Do This. This time I'm going to make it a birthday card where I'm going to cut out the birthday and the happy. So this is one of the very few cards that I do which doesn't have any stamping at all. I normally do so. That's been cut out of the well-written dies. Oops, let's turn the, the happy the right way up. Also, that's what I've used to cut those out. You want to roughly gauge where you're going to place things and which way up you want it, whether you want green up or whether you want blue up. It doesn't really matter. And so if I think that I'm placing that kind of there, my birthday is going to go somewhere here, so that could maybe be a little bit lower down. Right, so before we stick that, I've got half inch strips of black which I'm going to use to stick there. So what you want to do is just gauge how long you want that to be and then I'm going to flag those, so just cutting up the middle and then from the corner to your cut and the corner to your cut. I normally love my triple banner punch but it doesn't go to half an inch. It starts from an inch so this is the easiest and quickest way just to make the flag. I'm then going to stick my happy on. Now this has just been cut directly. It if you've got the adhesive sheets, that's going to make it a lot easier. I'm not putting glue on sort of my top bits and my bottom bits because they can hang over the, the strip and I don't want that to, to be gluey. So. Looks like I was a bit heavy handed with the glue, but I'll clean that off afterwards. So I probably want that more over, kind of in the middle. There we go. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dimensionals and I want a very thin strip of dimensional. So I'm just going to cut up the side. Now I'm putting the dimensionals because I want this raised, but remember that the thicker your strip, the further apart, ooh, the further apart the two halves of your circle are going to be. So it may start looking a bit oval rather than round if it's too far. So let's stick that onto the, the base. First, now I'm going to stick my top half of the circle down. Check when you're doing this that you've got, you want the two yellow ends on opposite sides here. So, I mean, you can have it like that if you want, you know, but I was going with the two yellow on the opposite sides. Just remember, there's no rules, it's whatever you like. So, pulling off the back of my dimensional strip, 
I'm going to shift this so that it's the dimensional sitting against the edge of my circle. Okay, so I don't know that you can really see that, but let's see, can you get that up? No, that's not going to show you at all. Okay, not going to work. But I've pushed, I've got the, the dimensionals just touching the edge of the circle. And then I'm going to take my green one and push it in until it's touching the other edge. So although you can't see it happening, you'll be able to feel it as you do it. Then taking my birthday and again just go with a really light hand with the glue it's the adhesive sheets do make it much better and they back in the new catalog we've got adhesive sheets back again so that's really exciting going to make gluing these very thin fine cutouts a lot easier And there we go, as easy as that. That's my card. And then I can take the other half of my two circles and make another one. So don't you love it when you get two cards out of one lot of effort? So that was that one. That's the other one. And then just because I could, I went and I did the card with squares as well. So it's the exact same, same situation. Let's shift you up for a minute. So I'm taking the squares that alternate squares in the layering squares. And for my last one, I cut three quarters of an inch square, which then fit in the middle of that. And did the layering the same, cut it in half, and we've got that. So I don't know which one you prefer, circles or squares. I'm leaving it at that. I would have gone and put some bling on it. But my husband told me no. He said that I've made it too sparkly with the happy. So I leave it at that. And as easily as that, that's your card done in whatever colors you like. So give that a try. I would love you to show me what you've made either on my Facebook page, um, Tracy Stampin Studio, or you can put a comment on my blog and have fun. Bye.